and it's a little bit shady because they're trying to say, hey, look, you know, don't share the dogs on this page, come over to us, but then you go to their page, and then they have a link for their donations. One thing I want to strongly urge against, guys, is I don't believe in this system where you're going to raise money for the dogs before they get out of shelters. It's shady. There's something up with it. Stop I don't know how they can keep yourself, track of all that money. To properly raise money, I know how to do it because I have a CPA and You've I know how to do things right. Why do you think the Attorney General is investigating us right the now? Was still One of in the, the you know, highest sources of what investigations. And I have complete confidence in my CPA. I have com complete confidence in our innocence because I know that we did everything right when we raised money. We only raised money when we were registered with the Attorney General. And a lot of rescues are 513s, and they don't realize that you have to be registered with the Attorney General. So I've heard a few things about the Attorney General sending out some cease and desist to a couple rescues because they are not registered properly with them. Now, just being part of a 501c3 doesn't just give you the right to raise money. You must be registered with the, with the state Attorney General so you can raise money. So my CPA is all over this stuff, guys. And it's interesting how people try to spin stories because they're jealous of our effectiveness. Okay, so sharing mode jealous. is the future. Actually, you For know what? what? It's right now. Because these dogs are flying out of shelters. And they're going into beautiful forever homes because we have the best followers in the world.